How's that? Okay. Julia Bergen, B U R G E N. I was here uh, June 24th, a year ago, and you got my name down on the list as B U R G E S S somehow. So, B U R G E N. I'm a native Texan of seven plus decades, residing in the Metroplex since 1949. If you want someone who knows the history of this effort, you're looking at one. My history with air issues began in Dallas. My earliest clipped cartoon on air quality is dated 1971. 1973 is the earliest letter in my files signed by me and addressed to the EPA. I moved to Arlington later and in the late 1980s began attending meetings of the North Central Texas Council of Governments on Air Quality. Why is it taking so long to get breathable, healthy air? That was 25 years ago. 25! How many generations will live and die before we have breathable, healthy air? Or are we just doomed and we might as well give up? My personal costs for medications alone due to asthma are currently $1,827 a year. That's strictly drug costs. I take Singulair, Pro-Air, and Advair. Please note that air is in each of those drugs to help me breathe. That $1,827 is money which I don't have to spend in our local economy. That money ends up in Kansas or California. How many of you in the audience also take asthma breathing related medications? Please raise your hands high. A bunch of you are lucky then. If we start quantifying the cost to society, citizens paid by themselves or partly through drug loans, plans or as donations made to the many social service agencies to assist those with no insurance and little income, these costs become astronomical. A recent study that I was able to bump onto by uh, Dr. Epstein at the Harvard Medical School indicates that coal alone is costing Americans somewhere between a third to over one half of a trillion dollars a year. We need SRC on all Texas coal plants. Meanwhile, the gas industry has grown phenomenally with the VOCs virtually unabated. That must change. I personally am subjected to pollutants from coal-fired plants south and southeast to me. And let's not forget the cement kilns. That's been an awful long fight. I have a gas well four blocks away. I read recently that nine more coal-fired plants are in development for Texas. I do not want to go to my grave and leave a damaged planet and one in which others have to breathe bad air. The energy companies can clean it up, but they won't if they don't have to, and they haven't so far. Now they complain in today's paper about the bad economy, but what was holding them up in previous years when the economy was better? Why didn't they upgrade? Why didn't we ever achieve SIP goals? North Texas companies have never been in attainment since I've been involved in this, despite great effort done by NCT COG and others in the 1990s. They won't do it if you don't make them. And in the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, we and those to be born will suffer and endure more air pollution. The monetary cost to the public must be considered and accounted for. Thank you very much.